right, so I'm making this video even though I'm incredibly sick right now. Um, yeah, whatever my girlfriend has, I now have it. So, great. <coughs> but this is a perfect opportunity for me to deal with a particular individual who keeps messaging me. Uh, names up in the title. This is a guy who is one of these... First off, I, I mean, we moved off of our Hitler discussion, which is specious reasoning at its height. Um, but he's moved on to some things like... I often see, um, see a kind of reply to people in the evolutionary camp. There's no camp. First off, evolution is a process. It's not... It's, it's not a pin, okay? See, I can be angry at a pin because a pin, you know, I can be angry because the pin's not working, okay? I can't be angry at evolution because evolution is a process, okay? It, it's just, it's like being angry at red, okay? Because red is color of blood. It, it, it makes no sense. But we'll continue here. Uh, uh, I often see. This kind of reply from people in the evolutionary camp, I've already gone over that, that's already been proven, because it has. Um, I have I have never honestly seen any proof or um, reasoning. Okay, dude. <coughs> you see that I'm sick right now? I have the flu. Every year, we get the flu. Okay, some people may skip a couple years, may, some people will get it and their life's going to suck for a while, and some people are going to die. If you've been watching the news at all, you'll notice there's information about the H1N1 virus, okay, which is a flu virus that mutated from pigs, okay. It, it mutated from pigs into humans, cross species, which is which is nearly impossible for a virus to do unless it's incredibly, incredibly complex. Okay, crossed species, and then now has become one of the most deadly flu viruses, potentially deadly flu viruses, in the history of mankind. The fact that you want to sit here and deny evolution, deny evolution, proves that you have absolutely nothing to offer to a conversation. Okay, I don't believe for one minute that. Okay, and I also I brought up um, that he's fighting a losing battle. He's already fighting. He's fighting a war. A war he's already lost. I don't believe for the one one minute that I'm fighting a war I can't. I can never win. You can't. You know, I'm not even fighting a war. Yes, you are, dude. You're fighting a war of ideas, a war of concepts, a war of knowledge. And the problem is, is that you, you know, you're going against guys like me who are bringing out submachine guns, and you're sitting there with a slingshot, you know, hoping for that great, da you know, you know, Davy, you know, you know, David and Goliath shot. Okay, but the problem is, is that just like this, that story, it ain't ever gonna happen. All right. You know, I you know, but over the years, I have seen more and more people willing to question evolution. Stupid people, and I, and I hate to be blunt that way, but it is, because the thing about it is, is that it doesn't matter what you think. Okay, it could right now, right now, evolution. Everybody could stop believing in evolution. It doesn't matter. It still happens. Okay. The more we accept evolution, the more we understand it, the better we're able we're going to be prepared to deal with epidemic viruses like the like the H1N1. Okay, why is it so important to you? Um, people can believe all sorts of things about science, and it's not not a problem. But question evolution, and it's the end of the world for you guys. Yeah, because what you're doing. No, and, and you know what? There's legitimate scientific questions out there. Okay. Uh, tons of legitimate scientific questions, but you know when you're dealing with a process that is so well documented, oh, there's no proof. Bullshit. 
you know, the, the, I mean, I'm still waiting for someone to explain, you know, human chromosome number two if evolution isn't true. Okay? You know, you know, this is just not working. Evolution is absolutely 100% true. If it was, whenever people use, um, ever drugs are coming out, like, um, they're, they're, te they're te uh, going to be testing a, um, um, and I'd heard about this research for a long time, um, an AIDS uh, vaccine. It's not a vaccine, it's, it's a, um, I forget what the exact term is, but what it would do is if you have HIV, it would stop it dead in its tracks from being able to mutate over into, in, you know, over into um, the more deadlier version of, um, of AIDS. Uh, the, our great apes, most of other animals on this planet, already have that antibody in their system, which basically, you know, here, here's the, you know, the T, you know, here's your, you know, here's your little T cells over here. Here's the HIV virus, and goes. What this does is go into the mouth of, of the virus, and says, you're not going to be eating. You can multiply, but you can't. You can't really eat. Okay, this is a massive step forward. In, you know, in human, you know, capabilities to save billions of people in Africa, you know, millions of people in America, you know, I mean, again, billions of people across the world. This is why it's so important, because if you start diluting the pool of knowledge with BS like this, millions of people will die. It's that important. If we stopped everything to do with research, I think we might as well go back to the Dark Ages. And you remember what happened back then, right? Millions of people were killed, you know, because of the Black Plague. What was the Black Plague? It was a flu virus. Have fun with that.